if you're putting on a center stone that's three or four carats and you're gonna come and tell me Rita I really like a tiny shank like 1.3 1.1 millimeters my answer is going to be no you can beg me to do this ring with kind of shank and I will say no My name is Margarita Skypen and in today's video we are going to be discussing jewelry design. Anything you need to know about jewelry design? What is a jewelry design? What is a part of a jewelry design? Why everybody talks about jewelry design? What's so special about it and why does it take so long? Let's go. There are so many of you that have approached me and said, Margarita, what is a jewelry design? How it starts and what it's all about. Let's cover the basics. Jewelry design is the design of your jewelry item that you're either making or someone is making for you. When I say you either make it, what I mean is a lot of my clients come with already set design in their head. You know, either a doodle image of what they're looking for, some photos, some photos in their um, phone, some printout photos from magazines and so on and so forth. So actually I would say about 45 to 50% of my clients come with already a set idea of what they want. And only about the other half is coming with like, eh, I kind of like this and I kind of like that. So knowing that a lot of you are set on an idea for a jewelry design makes it a lot easier for me because I already know if you're looking for that pear shape and you want a halo and a tiny little band, then we are gonna jump in and start discussing what kind of a band, what kind of a setting, what do you envision? Do you want the stone to be popping out? Do you want it to be more flush with the halo? Are you going to wear the ring every day? Is it, does it have to be practical? Because believe it or not, jewelry making is not only about it being pretty, it is also about being practical. And that's what a lot of my clients get confused on because when they come, they have this idea, this is what I want. And when I go over everything that goes into that design, Together, we are able to make a design that works for them, that is practical, that works within their budget, and that looks phenomenal. And only, and I'm sorry to say this, and I'm not being egocentric or trying to put myself higher than anyone, but only a professional jeweler knows how to make jewelry piece with those things together. Only a professional jeweler knows how to put practicality together with something that will look good. You know, a lot of jewelers can make the jewelry piece beautiful, but only a few can make it so that it's beautiful, comfortable, practical, and within the budget of a client. It's a talent. It really is an artistic talent where you have to put all these pieces together and make it a beautiful jewelry piece. Because if I make you a halo ring that you love so much, but every day you're gonna wear it, it's going to get things caught in your ring. It's not gonna be comfortable. Maybe you have small children which you are around all the time. Then what's the point of this beautiful piece that's constantly going to cause you stress? What is the point? And the reality is there is no point to a jewelry piece that will not have functionality, that will not have practicality, and all the other things come together. So when you ask what a jewelry design is, a jewelry design is something that we first draw by hand. When you come in for your first appointment or when we have the first Zoom appointment, we draw a couple of ideas. It's basic doodling, drawing by hand, just to get an understanding of what you want because some people like their shank to be two millimeters. Other likes their, like their shank to be 1.5 millimeters. The idea behind this is not only to make the shank of your choice and what you feel is beautiful, but also of what is practical. If you're putting on a center stone that's three or four carats, and you're gonna come and tell me, Rita, I really like a tiny shank, like 1.3, 1.1 millimeters, my answer is going to be no. You can beg me to do this ring with kind of shank, and I will say no, because if you are going to lose that stone, lose the ring, you know, um, if the center of who, after we make the ring will go sideways, which is one of the biggest problems of making a tiny shank that can't support the big top, you're going to come back to me and say, but you know, I can't wear this piece because the center head with the diamond keeps flipping sideways. And I don't want that. 
I don't want to come back to your ring, have to redo it because I would rather do it from the beginning the right way. So jewelry design is a big, 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 huge step to making the perfect jewelry item and it starts by hand. So what we do after the doodling process and after we talk about everything, pros and cons for stones, for shank size, for everything, for even looking at different designs on your hand because everybody's hands are different. If you've got tiny hands, you know, then uh, one type of design might look better on your hands than on someone who has chubbier hands. So it's very important to take time to understand everything that goes into the jewelry design process. And that's the very first step. The second step is I will be creating, or one of the members in our team is going to be creating a jewelry design in AutoCAD or what they're also called is Rhino or Matrix. We use Matrix for most of our designs and the designs are made on the computer and they're also rendered and they're rendered to show you what approximately the design will look like once it's done. That's the jewelry process and the jewelry design step is probably the longest step in our process. It takes about two to four weeks just to get the design right because after we sent you the matrix and I will be showing you the 3D designs next so you can see what it looks like. After that, we can keep changing things around. Let's say we made a halo with one millimeter diamonds around and you felt like it was too tiny. Then you're gonna go, Rita, don't you think we should maybe, like I feel like maybe we should do bigger diamonds and I'm going to show you what bigger diamonds look like. The truth is all of it is art. It's not like you can pinpoint any of this or put it into some kind of grid. Let's say if you came with an idea that you want a one carat round diamond and you want a halo. We're gonna do that halo based on what you liked, based on what we discussed, based on what we feel is proportionate and send you the first designs. But if you feel like you know you want bigger diamonds or you want to change things around and maybe see how a double halo looks like, we will show you that. So the design process is very complex because it goes back and forth with the client. Unless, of course, you're the type of customer that said, this is what I want and I like it and let's go ahead. I do have a few clients that are just, this is what I want, I don't want changes, I like what I'm seeing, let's go with it. It's very rarely that we get a ring done within two to three weeks, completely done, but it does happen. Most of the custom rings take four weeks only for the design process and then another four weeks to make it. So six to eight weeks is kind of the norm for a custom engagement ring. After the 3D design is ready and we showed it to you and you loved it, the next stage is printing. Printing of the Vox model and that's what it's called and I'm going to show it to you right now. A Vox model is a printed Vox material that prints a copy of your future ring minus the stones, so only gold. And if you're gonna ask me, well, Rita, if I have so many stones in, what is this gonna do to me? It's gonna do a lot of things because it's one thing to see the design through the computer and try to visualize and proportion it to your finger size. It's another thing to actually feel the ring out. When we print these um, Vox models, you can touch it, you can feel it. And if we're doing it via online or via Zoom, I can always put it on my finger and you can see how it looks like because like I said, it's one thing trying to visualize it as is on the computer, and it's another thing when you're actually seeing the piece. And a lot of the times when we printed them and showed it to our clients, guess what happened? A lot of my clients go, Rita, I feel like this is too thin, or I feel like it's too thick. And this is totally normal because not everything that looks good on the computer will look good in person. We all know that this is why most stores online right now show the video and the video is usually shown on regular hand. All of this is done not to make mistakes. Well, this stage of box designing is the same stage. It is done not to make mistakes. So once you are with me and you can see the size and you like the proportion or you don't like the proportion, we go to the next stage to either make the changes that you didn't like or to go ahead and cast this piece in gold or platinum or whatever metal of your choice. So after this Vox model stage, you are pretty much out of the picture and the rest is up to us and up to the jeweler and diamond setter to make your ring from this point on. But from this point on, you've already seen the designs, you've already talked, we've already talked about everything from cloth to thickness 
to millimeter sizes to practicality like at this point there should not be any surprises when you're picking up your ring and from the time when the ring the Vox model ring is done and it's going into casting it takes maybe about a week to 10 days for you to get the ring or the earrings or whatever we're working on so this jewelry process as you can tell is the longest from all the other stages because we need to kind of go through everything that's involved in this ring and you'll be surprised but all my appointments i ask what kind of claws you like and a lot of my clients are like what do you what, i never thought about claws well you should claws are a big part of a jewelry piece a huge one you can do tiger claws that are pointy and just very very mm, intriguing and vigorous and you know almost like an animal tiger claws that's why they're called tiger claws but the jewelry piece changes tremendously when you put tiger claws. It's becoming sexy, it's becoming rough, it's got a lot of different um, persona. Whereas if you do regular bead or ball claws, it's more quiet, classical, you know, um, not so much of a statement. Or if you're doing, you know, we've done even heart claws, like literally hearts on claws. And a lot of people want something special. so claws are a big deal or some people say you know what i want no claws i don't want anything to get in the way of my ring let's do it bezel and that's okay too so the way you make the ring is a big deal the way you make earrings or pendant or whatever is a big deal and if you don't get these things during the jewelry design process if you went to a jeweler and you talked to him briefly and the next thing you know you're picking up your jewelry piece I'm gonna give you 85%, you are going to have problems with it. Or things that you will have to live with because you didn't discuss enough. I believe that only through this thorough process of drawing by hand, then getting you the 3D designs, then showing you the Vox model, we can get all the surprises out of the way and you can be sure that that's what you want because I'm a big believer that you have to look at this piece every day. We make our pieces so that they're lifetime and it's not a big deal to discuss more. So for me, over discussing is better than under discussing. And if you've worked with me before, you know how I am and how tedious I am when it comes to every little thing in your jewelry piece. And right now I'm talking about custom pieces. Some of my clients that buy existing models online, for example, you're obviously not gonna get this treatment from me because you're buying something that's already existent. You're buying something that's already been thought about and part of a collection so this is only when you're doing custom design piece and i'm trying to explain what jewelry design is because to this day i have a lot of clients that come in and when i say okay we're going to take a long time for jewelry design process they don't even know what i'm talking about so this video is to simplify things and before you meet with me if you're doing a jewelry piece with me you kind of know the drill before you meet with me you know what we're gonna go through you know that you have to be prepared with all your questions and all your photos from your phone and anything else you want to show me because I take my time I'm going to look at every single piece you have or every single idea you have and we're gonna discuss it it's Margarita Skypen and I hope you learned something new today about jewelry design process now let's go really quickly. I'm gonna show you some of the cool things or some of the cool things we have done before from the 3D design to the finished piece. Let's go.